Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This time we will be trying to debaffle the new Akrapovich uh, exhaust for the 2021 model year Yamaha Tenere 700. Why is the 2021 production year important is uh, because since 2021 Euro 5 was introduced, the new emissions regulation which changed the exhaust from the single pipe outlet to the dual pipe outlet um, which made the exhaust a bit quieter and more <sighs> environmentally friendly if you want to call it that. Um, so yeah, today we'll be going through the process of how to debuffle the, de debaffle the exhaust. What I did as well is made sure that if I want to put the DB killers back in, I can do that. Um, yeah, because yeah, some countries um, are strict about the noise regulations and I don't want to have any problems with that. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Enjoy the process. Let's get going. So just to make it clear, this is the old exhaust, Euro 4, single pipe out outlet, and the new one for the 2021 model year, Euro 5, the, the worst one if you ask me, the quieter one, um, yeah, so this is the one that we're debaffling. So there are two ways people usually go about debaffling the Akrapovich exhaust. The first one is to remove the rivets. Let me show you. Um, to remove these rivets, there are eight of them in this case, um, which release the carbon piece. You take it off. You take the bolts out of the from from the DB killers. Pull them out. Put the carbon pack back in. Carbon cap back in, and rivet uh, this strap back on. Harmless. No damage to the carbon. Looks brand new. The second way, uh, this is what I did, uh, is to drill the holes in the carbon. Let me just turn on the light so you'll see better. Okay, drill holes in the carbon. We'll get to, into the details a bit later, uh, which allows you to put the, put the DB killers in and out as you wish, uh, but at the cost of a worse look because you have holes in your exhaust. Now, the reason that I didn't go the first way, even though I wanted to, is because uh, the crap of which it keeps making it far harder for us to debaffle their exhausts. Uh, once I once I um, drilled through all of these rivets and removed this this uh, titanium piece that holds on uh, that, that binds these two pieces together, the titanium exhaust and the carbon cap. Um, the carbon cap didn't want to go off, so I tried pulling it off with my hand. I tried uh, hammering it off with a with a rubber with a rubber hammer so it doesn't damage the carbon. I didn't want to try it too much because the carbon is extremely thin. Um, then I even tried heating it up to about five hundred degrees, four hundred degrees with a heat gun, hammering it off slowly. It didn't move a millimeter. Um, so I think there's another way they they stuck this to they stuck these two pieces together. So the only thing left to do is to drill holes. Um, if you want to go uh, the second way, the one that I chose, the first thing you'll have to do is remove these two Torx bolts, which uh, release the whole exhaust. It slides off very easily. Um, after which, I would suggest you place the exhaust somewhere fixed, somewhere stable, so you can uh, drill out these holes. Um, we'll get to these rubber caps a bit later. So what happens is, um, you measure um, 19 millimeters exactly, let me get a bit closer, you measure 19 millimeters exactly from this ridge over here, same goes from the bottom piece, these two ridges bulge out, uh, and that is the center of uh, where you'll find the screws. Um, the the upper screw is exactly on the ridge, while the lower screw is a bit above the ridge. What you saw me do, as you see, the my holes are a bit bigger, a bit too big to be honest. They should be 13 millimeters exactly. Uh, why is because uh, these original Akrapovich uh, rubber caps are exactly 13 millimeters diameter um, to fit snug. Mine are not snug. Mine wiggle about a little bit and I don't like it, but it is what it is. 
what you'll have to bear in mind is if you will drill the holes exactly at the center meaning exactly on the ridge uh, on the bulge sorry the carbon cap won't be able to fit normally because um, if it will be on the edge we'll have to it will have to uh, flex and won't be stable so what I ended up doing is making a hole on this surface over here uh, yeah my holes a bit too big as I mentioned um, so the so the so the plug can sit flush with the surface same goes for the for the lower hole um, same thing just uh, I made I made a hole so it sits flush with the lower surface that's what I suggest you do but in every case it's 19 millimeters by the by these two bulges that stick out trust me on that one now what you will find inside are two screws one at the top and one at the bottom these two screws are the ones that uh, hold in the DB killer the screws that are in right now are not original ones because I've done the whole process already um, though the screw that I'm holding in my hand is original um, it is a four millimeter thre uh, thread depth M6 from the top socket size number eight um, in order to get these screws out uh, you'll have to try a bit harder why because um, these uh, screws are welded to the surface so they don't unscrew that easily so if you'll want to get them out you'll either have to get an allen key which usually doesn't do the job because uh, they're too weak I suggest you get a sprocket spanner sized 8 stick it in get a hammer and hammer hammer the sprocket spanner to break the weld of the screw that is the easiest way to get it out so after you break the welds with the sprocket spanner you take a six millimeter allen key and you screw the two screws out which oh, i'll do right now the screws that i got were aftermarket stainless steel ones why because i ruined one original one and uh i wanted to have two bolts that are identical if you don't get the stainless steel ones uh they will rust if when you're going to be taking them out be very careful so they don't fall off why because uh then they'll fall down here and you'll have to dangle them out if you, if the if the exhausted mounted to the bike it's going to be even harder for you to get them out so always be careful and slow so this is it the second screw is out i'll show you what kind of screws i used um the screw that i got is just a normal allen six millimeter key uh screw sorry with a uh with a uh, what is it called yeah with just an insert below this is a bit longer than the original screw at six millimeters instead of four of thread depth but it works if you if you use these after you do that um take a pair of pliers take the squeeze the db killer and force its way out and this is it then for the screw and the db killer itself hollow as it gets <laughs> but baffles out a lot of sound this is it these are a bit uh, wet from the condensation uh, because I had the bike running before so this is what the final product looks like uh, not bad at all from afar you don't even notice the uh, the two rubber caps sitting on uh, on the exhaust since they're from the inner side uh, the exhaust is a lot louder as you can see it's pretty much straight pipes right now <laughs> uh, it is about 30 percent louder i'll turn it on right now for you to hear the difference and we'll do the sound comparison later this is just for you to like with the uh, db killers in so stock configuration uh 
let me turn on the motorcycle as well right now just so you can hear uh, how much quieter it is now so you can, as you can hear uh, I can talk normally without shouting now that the DB killers are in so for putting the DB killers back in same the opposite process follows as you can imagine uh, just reverse the process but uh, there are several things I would uh, I would want to point out that you should be careful about uh, when drilling the holes as I said they should be 13 millimeters big um, if these uh, rubber caps by any chance won't fit if the hole will be 30 millimeters big 13 millimeters big uh, make sure it's maybe 14 but not 15 because 15 is a bit too big the diameter of the rubber cap itself I think is about 17 18 19 millimeters uh, so if it's gonna be too big it's gonna wobble around it might fall out these are not cheap they're about seven euro um, I wouldn't suggest you order them from the factory because they will or from your authorized dealer because uh, they're gonna take about uh, six months <laughs> to get in yeah six months exactly that's what I've been told and I'm from Slovenia and a crap of it is from Slovenia um, I would suggest you order them from a internet website called um, Motor Motard Inn. Uh, I'll link it down in the description below. They have them in stock, and you get them in a matter of a week if you order from Europe. They have a warehouse in Spain. So another thing worth pointing out when drilling the holes is uh, make sure that uh, you first drill with a yeah with a drill drill. It's gonna leave a rough hole. It's not going to be smooth. So if you have a Dremel, um, maybe first drill out a 12 millimeter hole, drill it out with the Dremel a little bit, trim it off so the edges will be smooth, no carbon deposits left, and then try forcing this um, rubber inside. These are very soft and they can tear pretty easily, so uh, yeah, do it with care. If you by any chance during the process manage to ruin, uh, destroy whatever part uh, of the exhaust. You have a schematic on the Akrapovich website of the of the whole exhaust um, with all the parts and part numbers in so you can order a new one. And uh, for the rubber inserts, this is the this is the internet website that I was talking about, uh, Motard in and uh, the caps are seven euro plus shipping. So this is all for today. Uh, consider this as a part one of the video. This was only how to debaffle the exhaust. Um, part two, my review, my opinion, um, comparison, original exhaust, the crap which with, with the DB killers inside and without, that's still coming. I'm not sure when I'll be able to film that because of the weather, uh, but that's all for, that's all for today. Uh, if you'll have any, if you have any questions concerning the process that I showed you, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll answer, uh, hope it helps. Um, so yeah, thank you for tuning in and until next time, goodbye.